What's going on YouTube? It's Stefan here with All America Print Supply. We're coming to you live from FESPA 2023 from beautiful Munich, Germany. If you did not know, FESPA is one of the largest global events for our industry. We're talking all new innovations, equipment, supplies, and a whole lot more. And if you couldn't make it out this year to Germany, don't worry, we got you covered. We're getting ready to take you on a brand new tour covering all the different booths, all the new toys. It's gonna be basically like you're here. Before we dive into it and take a look at all the crazy stuff here at FESPA, we've noticed a lot of our viewership has been coming from non-subscribers. So if you landed on this video while you're here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, drop a thumbs up. And if you do have any questions on any of the crazy stuff going on at FESPA this year, leave that in the comment section below. Let's go see what we can find. All right, everyone, we are here at Hall B, checking in with our buddies over at Firebird Inks. Got an awesome booth as usual. We're joined by our buddy, Sean Liu. Sean, for our audience who may not be as familiar with you and your work, could you give a brief introduction for them? Yeah, absolutely. So Firebird Inc., uh, we've been in the industry now for about 12 years. We've been delivering inks and coatings for all sorts of DTG equipment. At FESPA, we love this event. I mean, it's my first time here, but it's usually ground zero for breaking and debuting a lot of new products. Sean, I heard that you guys might have a new fire or a pre-treatment right now. Can you, anything you can share? Is it still top secret? No, it's not secret at all. So uh, we call it the FBX Nova. So everybody that's still spraying, you can spray a lot less. And what that is, is it's more efficient. You can save costs in terms of how much pre-treat you're spraying. But when you spray less pre-treat, then you also need less heat to cure the pre-treat on the garment too. So then you're getting less heat exposure, meaning less staining, less boxing. And come on, let me show you guys. We have some pre-treat samples here. So this is uh, the Nova product. Uh, we're sampling people in uh, small containers here, but you could get it in a one gallon all the way up to drum size, 55 gallons. Uh, when you spray the Nova pre-treat, this is a tri-blend. So tri-blend is notoriously hard for being able to get a spray on here without getting that box, that discoloration where you see the pre-treat. And if you can see here in the camera, there's no boxing at all. And the reason is we only applied about 16 grams of pre-treatment to get this quality print. So the focus of our chemist was to minimize how much pre-treat is actually needed. And in doing so, you have less of the issues with pre-treatment. It feels pretty dang good. That's a soft, well pre-treated, well printed garment. Now, in regards to the FBX Nova, is this only for certain DTG machines, only certain printers this will work with? No, man. Uh, this is for any uh, DTG printer where you're doing a wet on dry. So. Epson, uh, Brother, all the Epson type printers out there. And of course you get our renowned support with All American, we chose them as a partner because anytime you have any questions, um, you know, somebody may take this pre-treat and spray way too much and maybe see some of those issues, but we're here to support, to kind of give you even guidelines. Teacher Matrix is something that we developed that gives you a starting point for how much pre-treat to apply for thousands of shirts that we've tested. Guys, I've looked at this matrix guide. It's very complex and really a great starting point because if you're just diving into direct to garment, pre-treat is probably the main learning curve. It's gonna be the lifeblood of printing and having at least a reference point to where to get started. I know it's helped a lot of our customers. Yeah, so I know pre-treat is one of the steps in DTG, but we make it as easy as possible. All American has been our partner in supporting it. And it's all about getting you guys the best quality product and using the minimal amount. That's where we're at. I don't know if I can follow that up. Sean Lu, thank you so much for your time. We're gonna take you guys around a little bit more of the FESPA 2023. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned, we got more coming. Thank you so much, bud. Thanks, Esteban. Absolutely. Had to stop by the Vastex booth. These are our buddies. They're at all the major trade shows. Paul, you guys brought a lot of new equipment. Uh, for those in our audience who may not be familiar with what you do with the Vastex or who you guys are, could you give a brief introduction for us? Sure, I'm in marketing for Vastex. We are actually one of the oldest screen printing manufacturers in the world. We invented the first dual rotary press, so we like to say we've been making them longer than anybody because we invented it. Um, but today we're showing at this Vespa dryers. That's where we're focusing, mainly for direct-to-garment and direct-to-film as well. Fantastic. Now we've been following up with you guys. I saw there was a recent announcement. You guys have got a couple new particular models that do work with DTG and DTF. Is there anything you can share a little bit about these and kind of why these are so special for our end users? Sure. We have a great line of DTG dryers we have for a while. We're standing between two of our newest dryers, what they are, low E 3D and low E 1D. The reason we have these new dryers are they're lower amp draw. So if you have some power restrictions, you can't have 30, 40, 50 amp dryers. These are gonna be a little better for those, those smaller houses, garages, you can put them at home. The one to our right, to your left, actually runs on a 15 amp plug on a 240. So 
much lower amperage. Yeah, that's pretty unheard of, I'd say, especially when you take in the fact that direct-to-garment dryers, it's not just any old regular conveyor, right? They gotta have the force there, something to cure that, to give that contact. And you're saying both these low energy outputs can handle DTG and DTF, no problem. That's correct. And another thing is, it's a small size. So you don't need a lot of space for this. The reason we are able to do that is we have what we call our boost zone. Yeah. Our boost zone has a small heater in the front that gets really hot, gets up to temperature quickly and then the rest of the dryer holds it at temperature. What we're doing is mimicking how a heat press would work, where you get really quick heat and then holds it. Um, okay. But you don't get that matted down look, that vinyl glossy heat press look. It doesn't mute the colors, doesn't lose the detail. Awesome, awesome. I mean, the Vastex line of dryers are really strong sellers for us. You know, we're very direct-to-garment, direct-to-film focused. I know we got three different sizes here. What kind of output can maybe an end user expect from some one of these different models? So when you look across one heater, two heater, three heater, this will do about 64 shirts an hour on direct-to-garment at three minutes. Um, so depending on what printer, what inks you're using, some people will go a little bit quicker. We've seen two minutes, 15 seconds, two and a half minutes. We like to do three minutes on our numbers, but you can actually go quicker than that. Uh, when you're running direct film adhesives through, you're going to be more like your water-based speeds. It'll be about two to three times as fast. That's awesome. It's really exciting news. Like you said, the flexibility, being able to bring these into outside the box workplaces. If you have a busy at-home business that's ramping up in production, this is really gonna be a game saver for you as an end user, like we said. Uh, anything else, Party, you wanna leave our audience with? We're gonna keep taking some laps around here. Anything else new to be excited about from Vastex? One more thing I'll mention, because you talk about expanding businesses. The nice thing is our dryers expand with the business. So we can add chambers, we can add conveyor length. So as you get more printers, as you need more production, you can expand that dryer without going and buying a brand new dryer. Guys, if you didn't know about Vastex, all their machines are modular. I didn't know if these new ones were as well, so I, I left that one out of the script, yes, but thank are. you so much for confirming on that, man. Hey, we really appreciate taking the time to share this awesome new exciting news with our audience. We're gonna, we're gonna keep moving around. Yep. You guys have a great rest of the show, okay? Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate you. you. DTF Station has really been moving the needle as far as direct to film, not just in the United States, but globally. As they look to expand their reach into the European market, we had to stop by their booth. Joined by Vincent, how's the show been so far? Uh, you know, it's been super successful. Our show has been busy nonstop. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff, and so people are constantly checking it out. That's right, we walked by here a couple times, had the crowd here, finally got you by yourself. Now, we carry the XL2, we carry the L2. These machines look like they got, I don't know, is it a makeover, a paint job? Something's different here. Yeah, so we offer the full solution, right? So we make adjustments to our printers. We also make adjustments to our shakers and dryers. And so we made a lot of improvements. Awesome. Is there any, maybe a couple features that are new, that are updated with this fancy facelift you could share with the audience, maybe a couple? Yeah, so the biggest thing is actually the auto wet capping. There's actually a tube uh, that's in the front right here that feeds into actually a cleaning solution. So it auto wet caps for you so you don't have to manually pour it into the capping station. We made your uh, end of day procedure even easier. Um, and then the other biggest takeaway is our shaker dryer. Uh, on this particular model right here, it actually has the auto recirculating for the powder. So the powder falls, there's a vacuum that brings it all the way up top and drops it back onto the film. That's awesome. This is big news for direct-to-film users. Again, constantly pushing innovation in the field of DTF. Happy to partner with this company to really provide, I'd say, the best direct-to-film out there. I mean, you guys come to any of these shows, you'll see DTF this, DTF that, but these are the ones they keep coming back to. These are the ones that are selling like hotcakes. Man, is there anything else you want to share with our audience? We're going to keep moseying around. I know you're a busy guy. No, we're global. So that's the, the beautiful thing is the DTF station is across Canada, Brazil, Europe, uh, Asia, all that good stuff. And so if you are looking for DTF, uh, you're coming to the right spot. We can find it all at aaprincipalico.com, right? A is one of our dealers in the United States. They do a wonderful job, great tech support, great team, great uh, videos, you can tell. So uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Hey, thank you for your time. You enjoy the rest of the show. Catch you after. Okay. Gosh, finally getting a second to catch my breath. We're here chilling at the Epson booth. They got all the monster machines out here. Big R series right behind me, the giant sublimation, F3070 we know and love. And of course, you know where to check out that new Epson DTG. State size will be called the 2070, but we'll recognize this globally as the 2200 series. Man, that was an awesome printer. Can't wait to get one of these stateside. Official announcement will be coming soon, but this has been such a fun event. It's crazy seeing people that you meet in the industry, really from all over different parts of the country, and and connecting again here. We told you guys, this is probably the largest event internationally for our industry, ground zero for breaking new equipment, new supplies, and news. So I'd say the big takeaway from here was, there's always something to learn, there's always something to see, and there's always innovations to improve how we operate. That's kind of like how we do things here at All American. 
Nothing's perfect, but we're always trying to get better. So as you can see, there's lots to see and do here at FESPA 2023. If this international trade shoe is coming to a country near you or somewhere you can travel or visit to, highly recommend you come take a look. Go ahead and comment down below the new item that you are most excited for. And before we sign off, if you're watching this video and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit it. It's right there. Leave a comment down below for the item you are most excited about this year. It's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one. we got a lot more work to do. See you in the next one.